Well, you're not going to miss my son in a crowd, are you? <laughs> yes, I have made him a matching kind of clown outfit. It's not actually a clown outfit, but I did a video on the orange fleece that I made him um, a week or two ago. Um, and I had a bunch of fabric left over, so... I decided to make him some matching trousers because he does need trousers that he's growing out of the ones in his wardrobe currently um, so I thought this would be quite cute uh, to do the orange and then the kind of check multicolored bright check for one of the legs as well so <clears throat> I didn't have um, I don't have too many pants for him I do have a, a bunch but, but I uh, have been just making the same thing over and over again so I went back to this one that I found, which is actually designed for woven fabrics. And these are a knit, I guess. They so do have a bit of stretch to them, the, the fabric, but it's not very much. So I thought this would be fine, uh, and, it, and it was. So it's the Simplicity 8660, and I did View B, which is the trousers. I have made him the t-shirt before, and also the dungarees. And when I made them then, I think he was about two, or maybe a little bit younger than two, and they were just way too big. And the t-shirt was fine, it was just a little bit too long, you could wear that. The dungarees were just absolutely massive on him. Um, they've got quite an interesting design. It's not like a normal set of dungarees where I think you would have like more of a square top part with the straps and then just connected to trousers. It's almost like there's no kind of waist point in the dungarees and they just come like all the way up they kind of almost look like fishing trousers <laughs> there's like wader things but that, that go right up like up to your chest and then they have these like quite big pockets on the side so the trousers are very similar apart from not having the top section but they do have these big pockets I decided not to bother with the pockets even though they are kind of like statement huge pockets I just thought it'd be too bulky if I did it in the fleece so they're just trousers, no pockets, they have elastic in the waist, they have these kind of fake ties that don't actually do anything because they're not connected to the elastic, they're just connected to the waistband, so they're more just for show and to make them look a bit more like grown up trousers. My son has tied in a knot and he was very proud of himself so I've left the knot. <laughs> it actually went through the washing machine um, with that knot intact so it just hasn't been undone. And the bottoms are just like a... a um, just like a turned up hem. It does say that you can do a cuff if you want, but I don't really like love cuffs. I don't really love doing them and I don't necessarily love how they look. And I just thought that seems like more work. So I just left it as a rolled up, uh, a turned up hem, sorry. They're pretty simple in construction. It is just, you've got front and back, you've got a uh, front and, or a waistband and then the waistband facing. And you do have like a front and back waistband, but I think it's just the same pattern piece twice. And then you've got these little ties and you could even just omit and not use the ties because like I said they're not connected to the elastic they're just sewn onto the outside of the waistband you could easily just not do that part if you wanted to keep it even more simple <clears throat> um, I decided to go for I didn't have enough fabric to do it all in orange or all in check but I think this is more fun anyway I decided to go for one leg being check and one leg being orange as opposed to the front being check and the back being orange which did mean that I had to think it through when I was cutting out the fabric to make sure I got the correct pieces in the correct fabrics not that he would have minded that like mattered that much because he, he wouldn't have minded but obviously I didn't want to get two left legs and stuff um, and then I did the front waistband and facing in orange I did the back waistband of facing in the check. I could have done orange on the outside, check on the inside, I could have just done it orange. Um, I had enough fabric, I just decided to do it like this. I don't think there was like that much thought that went into that. And then I did one tie in orange and one tie in the check. I did really try. Uh, it took me a while but I did get it so that the orange tie went with the check trouser and the check I went with the orange trouser um, that took a bit of thinking because it was inside out at the time when I was cutting it out and uh, piecing it together and <laughs> I don't know why my brain got really confused with that um, yeah they were fairly simple to put together the waistband is a little bit not very neat um, and it hasn't 
cat caught all of the waistband when I was sewing it, I kind of did stitch in the ditch around the existing seam. So you, you attach one half of the waistband to the trousers, fold it over and then sew it again and I decided to try and stitch in the ditch to hide that second lot of stitching but it's just not quite caught it. Um, you were supposed to fold over the waist the waistband piece on the inside as well but I was just finding that I folded the waistband over as li as much as I well as little as I could because the ties were getting a bit too close to the top can you see that they're very close to like the top um, of the waistband and had I folded that waistband over a more and um, the ties would have been like up here or like even in going inside and um, I think I just positioned them a bit too high up but at that point I didn't want to unpick <laughs> unpick the ties that I just sewn on like three times so I did try and uh, use the markings on the pattern but I think I did position these ties a little bit too high and then that did have the knock-on effect of me not having quite as much space in the waistband when I folded it over which then meant that my sewing didn't quite catch all of the waistband so if you turn it inside out there are kind of like holes that you could stick your finger through and like touch the elastic but it's it attached enough that I'm not really that concerned that it's going to all come undone it just looks a bit scruffy inside but he doesn't really care I did have to do a big adjustment on them so these are actually age four he is not four yet and like I said I feel like this pattern is quite big maybe he's just not that big he's a bit he's average size um I would say but um yeah I've kind of sized up a bit too early for him probably but they came up as being super high-waisted and they still are really high-waisted I don't know if that it's really like you, you can really tell but the length of the leg is probably now the same length as the part from the crotch to the waist which is like quite high-waisted um, obviously his proportions aren't quite what an adult proportions would be so his legs are shorter than an adult's leg would be but it, they were super high-waisted they were also really long so I chopped off a chunk of the bottom of the length which was easy and then I did have to take off the waistband that I'd already sewn on cut a chunk quite a sizable chunk off the top and reattach the waistband which is another reason why the waistband isn't quite as neat as it perhaps could have been because I did have to remove it and then reattach it um, and they are still on the big side and still high, too high waisted I would say like they're probably a size too big but also um, the pattern piece it's just like such an odd pattern I think it's because these trousers are like the dungarees um, but without the top and so the dungarees are just kind of an unusual design but like this is the pattern piece of the leg which you obviously can't see but like that <clears throat> maybe you can see how much I ended up chopping off the um, top so I probably chopped off I chopped that much off the top and then that much off the length <laughs> so I think it was a size too big but I also just think that they're very odd style trousers and I think I might I kind of like that they're a bit different but I don't know um, if he wants his trousers to be like up to his armpits I don't know so um, yeah there's um, there's other cute things in there so like there are some like short dungarees which might be nice for summertime and then there's the t-shirt so, like, there's two pictures of t-shirts there's only one pattern for the t-shirt there's also a dungaree dress as well so um, I'd like to make him more since I've bought the pattern and I want to use the supplies I have but it's such an odd design so I don't know whether I should copy out because I've been tracing it from the pieces copy out the age three trouser pattern and see if that fits better well I just hate tracing stuff out so it really puts me off um, but yes, they, they do fit, they are just a little on the big side, but it's fine and they just look really fun and he hasn't worn them together with the jacket yet <laughs> so we're just waiting for that um, occasion where only a matching 
super bright orange multicolored <laughs> fleece trouser combination will do hopefully soon um but yes that is the simplicity 8660 kids trouser uh, pattern that i've made um let me know what you think in the comments give a like subscribe all that stuff uh thanks for watching and i'll see you next time